had an epiphany this morning and I want to know what your thoughts are. So if you didn't catch my video this weekend on um, will terzepatide be rebranded from Manjaro to something else when it receives its weight loss indication. That weight loss indication is coming within weeks now. We're not measuring in months and years now. We're, we're measuring in weeks. So uh, those of us who follow this closely are really in, intrigued to know because of really what it comes down to is supply chain issues. Will they rebrand? Uh, will they rebrand? And and how does that all work? And how does that affect supply? So we're watching it closely. We're watching it for you. Um, but I want to know what Kimbo thinks of this epiphany that I had. The biggest maybe argument for uh, a, a pharmaceutical company uh, rebranding um, a drug is for a second indication is that it extends the patent on the drug. Now, some have said that uh, the other reason is that they can charge more for it. Uh, but I believe that there are examples of other medications that have not rebranded, but have charged more if the drug is coded for a certain indication, right? So, there's probably others that watch these videos that that know more about the laws and how that all works than I do. But let's just move forward with this conversation that uh, if they don't rebrand, they can charge more still for the for the weight loss indication. So that leaves that the only real indication or the only real reason for rebranding would be to just separate the two um, and, and, you know, be able to change the marketing and then extend the patent. So really the big thing, extend the patent. What if, what if they don't rebrand? If they don't rebrand, they're still going to be able to extend the patent. How? I think that terzepatide is going to be the first, the first medication that will be prescribed, that will be approved by the FDA for sleep apnea. If you read in the news this week, um, the, the makers of CPAP machines are they're freaking out <laughs> because they know that these GLP ones, this new class of incretin mimetic uh, treatments are a huge threat to their business. Listen, when you go from 300 pounds to 190, or you go from 700 pounds to 350 pounds, it greatly, greatly affects um, sleep apnea to lose weight. And the cl clinical trials are going on for that right now. So Lily could rebrand terzepatide, and this would make a lot of sense to me as the only, the only medication that you can take for sleep apnea. That would be the time to rebrand because people already know Manjaro as a weight loss drug, right? People already, it's not, right? It's not approved by the FDA, but it was by and large, and I'm just a guy on TikTok and, and YouTube, but let me tell you, I've got, you know, over 10,000 people who follow me now. And I got to tell you, most people aren't taking it for diabetes. Even now, after they're paying out of pocket, most people that are taking it are taking it for weight loss. So the time to be rebranding, in my opinion, for so many reasons, and I shared them on that other video, go check it out, are, are massive. But when it comes to sleep apnea, that would be the time to rebrand, extend the patent, and go to market with the first medication that you can take to treat sleep apnea.